Yo, what's up guys, it's Kobe here with another weapon breakdown and comparison video. In this series we compare two weapons raw stats and characteristics to find out which one may be better, at least in its naked form. Now in today's video we're going to be covering what are most likely the two most accurate guns in the respected class, the Peacekeeper and the M27. Of course one's an assault rifle and one an SMG, but these two guns are incredibly similar with not only their stats but how they are used in the game and just their overall attributes. So starting off with the Peacekeeper, it's got a 33 to 19 point damage which is on par with pretty much every other submachine gun in the game, so in that aspect it's nothing special. However its medium damage of about 22 has an incredible range and after some recent patches is now the longest ranged SMG in the game, which I'm sure a lot of you could probably tell by already using it. The M27 has similar stats, but it's a little stronger being that it is an assault rifle. However, when you compare it to other assault rifles, it's weakest in its class. But as you can see, its maximum and minimum damage are really, really close, closer than any other assault rifle, and that makes it probably the most consistent gun in its class. Taking a look at their rates of fire, again we see similar numbers, the Peacekeeper shoots slightly slower, and you probably noticed that while using it, you can almost hear each individual shot because of how slow it is shooting. You do have the option of using rapid fire, but I highly suggest not to. When using rapid fire, it destroys its long range damage, which would deplete the whole purpose of even using a long range submachine gun to begin with. Some people like to say it kills faster close range, which it does, but if you're focused on close range, you're better off using an MP7 or a vector that already shoots that fast to begin with. The M27's rate of fire is pretty much the happy medium for the assault rifles. It shoots fast enough to stay effective, but slow enough so that it's easy to control the reach recoil, but because of its damage and its fairly slow rate of fire, it is the slowest killing assault rifle in the game, but still that does not take away from its overall effectiveness. The similarities continue with the magazine sizes, both holding a 30 round standard and a 40 round extended clip. For the M27 that's normal, however 30 rounds does make the Peacekeeper have the smallest clip of the SMGs, but again because of its slow rate of fire you don't run through the bullets quite as fast. Again looking at the reload times you see how similar these really are, both at 1.95 seconds, and you can get that down to around 1.32 when you cancel reload. And lastly, to compare these recoils, you guys asked to see the two weapons side by side rather than their bullet spreads on a wall. So you can see here, both of these weapons have an incredibly low recoil, the Peacekeeper has a little more bounce to it, but they are both still incredibly accurate. But which is better? As you guys have seen, they are very very similar and almost identical in several aspects. But the kicker to me is that the Peacekeeper is a submachine gun that can be used as an assault rifle, while the M27 cannot be used as a submachine gun. And in a game with maps that cater to SMGs more, I'd have to just go with the Peacekeeper. But what do you guys think? I'm not saying either of these are the best guns in any Call of Duty by any means, but out of these two, which would you prefer to use on a consistent basis? But that's the end of the comparison. If you have a suggestion for the next one, please leave it down below. I always take them into consideration. If you enjoyed the video and could spare some time to leave a like, that would be great. A lot of time and effort going to these videos, so all your support is appreciated. One last thing, I keep getting messages on Xbox and PS3 asking to play, or just asking a question in general, and I typically always respond, but for me, it's a lot easier to answer you guys on Twitter just because typing with the controller really sucks ass. So if you want to follow me, I'll leave a link in the description. I also tweet out when I'm playing or doing open lobbies or anything like that. So if you're into that, that's there. But regardless, thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't bought the new camos, click the video on the right for a chance to win some. Xbox or PS3. I'm choosing a bunch of winners this weekend, so hurry up before that's over. Also got the Diamond Camels Fast video on the left, so check that out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.